developing of transparent solar cells for building integration to develop um, indoor photovoltaics for powering small devices in indoor environments. Mm -hmm. Generally, we have um, speakers from all over the world. I'm quite proud of that, actually. It's actually follow a very different direction, which makes it more exciting. It's not just about efficiency. It's about materials development. It's about applications. Um, and about to understand fundamental aspects of solar cells. So it's, and I think if a lot of those people are actually working very well together to further uh, make nice contributions to the field to further improve the solar cells. And I think it, it will be a very important future to not just to focus on uh, the efficiency, but also stability and um, different environments. I think the beautiful thing about DICELs is that they are very adaptable. I think every, everybody in the list actually contributes to, to making a point of it. Major points which make this technology so different is still the semi-transparent and transparent Dyson Dyson cells because imagine you have a nicely colored window which uh, saves you, of course, from too much sun, but also generates energy at the same time. That's great, right? Also, could be interesting for variables. Like if you could support small electronics, you're varying. Um, another big field, but I might be a little bit biased because this is what I'm working on is the indoor photovoltaics, because um, not just me, but other groups made it possible to power small IoT devices without batteries, which of course could have a very high implications in sustainability of any wireless devices. <laughs>